Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome to the channel today, I'm excited to see you. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, I am going to talk about how to set your customer's account limit. This specifically pertains to customer house accounts or what you might call a tab, and we are going to set them up with a limit so that they cannot spend over a certain amount on their customer house account. Before we jump into it, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. You can ask questions about errors or workflows or something you're wondering about, and people such as myself and other store owners who use QuickBooks Point of Sale would be happy to answer your questions for free. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, let's get into this. In order to do this, you're going to need a customer in mind, and you can go over to customer list, and on the customer list, you would find that customer. In this case today, I'm gonna be working with Leroy Thompson, and you know what? Uh, I was thinking about giving him a house account, and finally I'm feeling pretty good about it, and so I'm just gonna turn it on and let him know that he can use that house account uh, to charge goods, maybe services, all month long and I would probably collect from him now and then. So I'm going to highlight his name here and hit edit. This is going to bring up his customer profile. Now right down here in the bottom left, uh, you do need to turn on the usage of this customer with QuickBooks. Now QuickBooks accounting is the piece of software on the back end that's actually going to be tracking the customer account. Keep that in mind in case you're ever wondering uh, how to manipulate what they owe you or how to deal with it. You're going to do a lot of that in QuickBooks Accounting, but today we are just setting their limit. So I'm going to say, yes, Leroy gets a charge account and we will use it with QuickBooks. Now, maybe we're just starting off on a probationary period with Leroy Thompson and we're only going to give him $100 to be able to charge. <clears throat> so there you have it. He has the available credit of $100 and if he tries to go over that, it is going to stop him because we don't want his balance to exceed that. And of course, you know, if you have a long time customer, a more trustworthy customer, or maybe your products in general are just more expensive, and so $100 wouldn't really do much for anybody, you can change this at any time. We could give this person $80,000 credit limit because uh, we like them so much. Uh, another useful feature down here, if you are looking to investigate what somebody owes and why, you can jump right into QuickBooks by viewing the customer in QuickBooks and checking out all of their open invoices in there that have flown over from their charge account in QuickBooks point of sale. There you have it. Let me, let me bring that back down to 100. We're going to do a little example here with Leroy Thompson. So if I run to the make a sale screen, and we add good old Leroy there. Now I'm gonna charge something, I'm gonna charge something that's $80. We'll charge that to account. All right, save, save, save. And then maybe he comes back at a later time. And he, here we can see right away he has available credit of 2001. So maybe he comes back and he wants to charge this $27.75 to his account. And we hit save. Now it's automatically gonna pop up here and say, hey, his credit is insufficient. He does not have enough credit. And at this point in time, you know, you need to talk to your employees or yourself and tell them, you know, don't up his credit limit. You gotta inform him, hey, you're you're out of credit here. And so maybe they cancel. And since he only has 2001 available, the only thing you'd be able to do safely is do 2001 on the charge account. And then the rest, he's either gonna have to pay by another means or cash or what have you. All right, so this has been our video on setting the account limit for your customers in QuickBooks point of sale for their house account. If this was great, if you learned something, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those comments. I'd be happy to answer back. And uh, I hope you have a stupendous day. I really do. Bye-bye mm -hmm. now.